Emotional procrastination is what makes a good superhero movie great. You see, all of them follow a simple blueprint. Find a dumbass, depending on your budget, give him powers, watch him emotionally constipate for the next hour before he finally decides to save the day while going through the most insane drama ever. And I still love them. I used to believe drama is unnecessary, because in my family, drama usually equaled but after a few hours of plotting my life that cold night, something dawned on me. The next morning was harder, knowing that I procrastinate constantly about everything knocked me off my game. How many times have you done this before? Is this why you're not growing? Do you actually even enjoy anything? Bro, can you not? Sorry. But he had a point. You see, whenever I get a new project, it comes with a deadline. Now instead of using the time, I'd wait till the absolute end to actually start working. And somehow, I still end up producing good results. But not until I've went through the most amazing, stressful drama. So you're a dumbass with no powers. I've realized since that I romanticize the idea of working. Just a definite proposition that I have to get a certain thing done on a certain time limit and I cannot afford to focus on anything else is enough to keep me content. Will I get the job done? Of course. Will it be without drama? Probably not. If you're anything like me, you probably forget to bring a lot of things during shoot and then you try to fix it in post. So a technique that allows you to add, remove text, objects, tracking markers and even clouds in post is called 3D camera tracker. Now let's say I've shot this video and of course I forget to bring the clouds inside before the shoot. Now to fix my mistake, I import this clip to After Effects, right click, track camera and then wait. Now while analyzing the footage, After Effects is basically trying to mimic an approximate path that your camera followed in real life and once it's done, you can now use the virtual camera inside the software to add and remove objects. To create this camera, select a bunch your track points, right click, create solid and camera. This will create two new layers, a virtual camera I mentioned before and a solid based on the track points you've selected. Now to add the clouds, I'm gonna bring in these cloud PNGs I found online and turn the layer 3D. Here's a quick note, every layer in the composition that has been turned 3D is going to be affected by the virtual camera. So if your object disappears once the layer turns 3D, it is still a part of this scene and is probably just not visible because it's behind the camera. Now to use the solid we made before, copy and paste its position values onto our cloud layer and now the cloud will appear exactly where the solid was. I can now move it around and place it in the correct position. I'm now gonna keyframe a little bit of horizontal movement for the clouds and there it is. We have now successfully added clouds to our indoor video. If you've been following my tutorial series, you can now imagine the possibilities this opens up for you. You can now mask or rotoscope an object from a different video, bring it into this video, 3D track it and then time remap the entire footage. Like I've mentioned before, most of video editing is just combining techniques and now with the 3D tracker also in your toolkit, the only holdback between you and great videos is your creativity. There are only a few things left for me to discuss in this After Effects beginner series and once that's done, I can dive into single effects, make deeper, longer videos videos for you to understand and I'm sure those would be easier to follow along. I am so so thankful for all the love and support y'all have been showing on this tutorial series both here and on Instagram. These 6 videos have pretty much been my first attempt at storytelling and your response really makes me feel like I'm doing a good job at it. So thanks again for all the love and I'll see you in the next one.